Hello serverless people, Enrico here. In this video I want to explain you a few SNS options, in particular the encryption one, the delivery retry policy and the delivery status logging. In the previous video we have seen what is SNS and its various features. In this one we're gonna explore in more depth what is the encryption, what is the delivery retry policy and the delivery status login. As always, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. So let's get rolling. Here I am on the SNS dashboard. I selected the standard option, uh, the standard type as the SNS topic. And let's output a name, my topic. The first feature we're gonna explore is the encryption. So SNS provides interesting encryption by default. But if we want to add encryption also at rest, which can be useful for very strict use cases when you are in the healthcare business, for example, we need to enable the encryption by clicking here on the enable encryption one. So as we said, SNS supports encrypted topics. What does it mean? It means that when you publish messages to encrypted topics, SNS will basically use uh, a key, which is provided by the CMK service, which is powered by uh, KMS, which is the, uh, the, which stands for key management system by AWS, and it's gonna encrypt your messages. SNS supports a custom managed key and also key provided by the KMS service. When SNS receives your messages, the encryption basically takes place on the server. Remember the messages on SNS are stored by default across different uh, availability zones for durability, and this will be this will remain true also for encrypted topics. So the messages will be saved encrypted in different availability zones. What will happen is when you send the messages to the, the topic and you have subscribers, the message will be decrypted just before being delivered to those subscribers. Uh, the subscribers, as we said on the previous video, can be SQS or an AWS Lambda function or HTTP or HTTPS webhooks. Remember also that it's very important here because it shows the real advantage of using uh, AWS is that the encryption and decryption is offloaded to AWS, which means you don't need to worry about encrypting or decrypting messages for you publishing and subscribing to an encrypted topic will look basically the same. So from your point of view, you just have to switch on the encryption and you will have the full service for at zero cost. Few notes, basically uh, you have two notes in total is that SNS encrypts only the body of the message. So it doesn't encrypt the metadata, the topic metadata or the metrics, which means that basically the encryption doesn't affect any of the operation of SNS, such as uh, messages fan out or the messages filter option. And also remember that if you enable the encryption on an existing topic, this encryption will be not active, which means the previous messages will not be encrypted. And also very important, when you enable the encryption is gonna take up to one minute. That's what the documentation says to be enabled. So keep that in mind when you use it. Let's move to the next option, which is delivery retry policy. For, for the delivery retry policy, we have the SNS service will use uh, an algorithm called back off. And this is something that I explained on the previous video, but you, you don't need to learn all the details about the algorithm. If you're interested in it, there is a very good resource on the AWS documentation. I'm gonna leave the link on in the description of the video. So let's explore what this option actually means. If we go back on the slide deck that I explained on the previous video, we have here the explanation of the algorithm. And as you can see, we have four different phases. We have the initial delivery attempt. Then we have the pre backoff phase. We have the backoff phase itself and also the post backoff phase. If we go back on the options, we have here different values. So the first one is number of retries, which basically is very intuitive is the total number of retries for when there is a failed message. Second one is number of no delay retries, which means how many retries you wanna have with no delay, which means when a message failed, how many times you want to try just after it. In this case, the default is zero because it makes sense when you have a failure to at least wait a few seconds, a mean delay, between the failed attempt and the first retry, which is basically the next uh, option is mean minimum delay target and maximum delay target. This is this means the the minimum delay target is the minimum delay between a retry and between the failed message, which basically means it has to pass at least 
x seconds between the failure and the retry. In this case, the default is 20 seconds. And this is the uh, values that are going to be used in this uh, phase of the algorithm. So the, the central one, the backoff phase. The next one is the number of retries in the pre-backoff phase, which is the, there is the minimal delay as well here. And the next one is again the number of retries on the post-backoff phase. So again, if you go back on the graph here, we're going to see the pre-backoff -back, pre phase and the post-backoff phase. Backoff function here is set to linear, but we have different options. It can be, if we change here, it's going to be like aromatic, if I remember well. Yeah, arom aromatic, geometric, and exponential. And the last option is override subscription policy, which basically means to apply this policy to all the subscriptions, even if they have their own policy. Um, my suggestion is to leave uh, all these options by default, but it's useful to know the meaning of all these options. If you really want to tweak those values, make sure you understand the algorithm behind it. Last item is the delivery status logging. So at this point, we are delivering messages using SNS, but we don't have a way to know if the message has been delivered by our SNS topic. And let's say you have a customer asking you, uh, or like a customer telling you, I haven't received a message, can you please control if it has been delivered? By default, we don't have the delivery status login, but we can enable it. And there are different ways to enable it and services that you, you can send the login to. My favorite ones are, of course, uh, AWS Lambda or SQS, which is the queue service. And you can also choose the other ones if you want. And one important uh, options to understand the success sample rate, which means if it's set to 100%, it means send all the delivery status login to these services, or if you set it to 50%, it's going to do just, it's going to send just the 50% of the delivery status to the services specified. Why we want to change this one though? Because let's, let's imagine we have a topic with 1000 subscribers. It means that for each of the message, we're going to have 1000 delivery status login. This can be all right if you have like a sensible number of subscribers or it can be very expensive because you're going to store these logs on CloudWatch and CloudWatch is not super cheap, let's say. So depending on the use case, maybe you want to only have the delivery status for 10% of the messages if you have a very high number of subscribers or if you need to know for each of the messages that's been delivered to all the subscribers, you need to do like 100% sample rate. So it's like... Um, all or nothing service, uh, it really depends on your use case and you need to decide which is the value that you need for your service. All right, so we've seen what is the encryption, how to enable it and how does it work for the uh, at rest encryption, what is the delivery retry policy and what these values means on the um, back of algorithm and how to enable the delivery status login on SNS. As always, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have uh, any questions on the comments. I'm going to try to reply to all of you.